Hey guys, this one is going to be a vlog of sorts, sparked by the data sheets that surfaced a few days ago. And potential multi multa excitement aside, I wanted to share my thoughts on some design principles around the 9th edition data sheets. And to keep things a bit visually interesting, I'll throw some painting up on the background. So as sweet as those new Indominus models are, the unit data sheets within the Edge of Silence booklet are fairly standard when it comes to the features of 9th edition data sheets. But of the new data sheets that recently surfaced, the one that drew my attention the most was the Canoptic Doomstalker. Its standout feature being the way the degrading stats are presented. Gone is the chart off to the side that you need to cross-reference, which was present in 8th edition data sheets. Instead, you simply read down across the stats. Now, if you have watched my content over the course of 8th edition, you will know that I have no issues being critical around the game mechanics and its surrounding elements on the tabletop. But I think some credit is due here as this is far more intuitive to use. Units which degrade are almost always single model units, so they have the space available on the datasheet. The only thing I would change would be the emphasis of the changed stats. I find the bold text a little too subtle, and I think if the stats which were not changing were made less opaque, it would make the chart far easier to reference at a glance. But that is a very minor criticism. This change, while relatively small, is a smart one and in my opinion is indicative of rules being presented in a manner that is less in the way of the game. And I hope there are more changes like this in the future. But where do we go from here? Well, the philosophy of this change, that being making rules more intuitive, is actually a position I've held throughout 8th edition, and I realized I have yet to share my thoughts on it. So here are a few suggestions for what I would like to see. Some viewers may be familiar with the custom data sheets I put together over 8th edition. These were for custom narrative scenarios, but you may recognize some of these points presented in them. The first of which is, cast and deny signifiers. I think there should be an easy to read signifier around how many powers a psychic can cast and deny, so a player can ideally at a glance reference the psychic capacity of a psyker unit. This is a critical factor of a psyker's ability, and ought to be very easy to spot. In data sheet point costs. Now, I actually don't think this is something worth incorporating within physical codex datasheets, as having multiple areas to correct point costs as points inevitably change will become counterproductive. However, if, say, you were trying to make an app for your game, one that is mondo expensive, it ought to make the user's life as convenient as possible with regards to managing the data and information referencing that goes into the tabletop experience. If datasheets had the point costs of models and wargear present, along with their available wargear options, it would make it pretty handy to assess, allowing users to run the numbers and make comparisons while looking at a unit. And since it is a digitally regulated data source, there should be no issue of having to update points across multiple datasheets, since those entries all reference the same resource, whether it's a .csv, JSON, or other data struct type. Stratagens. I am of the mindset that stratagems should be sectioned and laid out in an easy to reference format. Keep the flavor text, but parse out when stratagems are used. Their requirements, the duration of their function, the target of their functions, and obviously the details of that functionality. Often players need to reference specific details of a stratagem, and breaking it out in this way makes it far easier to snipe out the data desired. And please organize stratagems by phase or use case where applicable. The amount of stratagems armies have is, well, to be blunt, many. And that's not a bad thing, but they should definitely be organized. Here's an idea. Arrange them following an order based on when they would be used. First, the upgrading stratagems used during list construction. Then stratagems used after deployment but before the game begins. Then stratagems used in your active turn following the battle round sequence and then reactionary stratagems which are procced by specific events. Creating a system of order around stratagem placement would make it a heck of a lot easier to reference specific stratagems than it currently is. For example, let's take a look at this page of stratagems from the 2019 Space Marine Codex. Steady Advance, used in the shooting phase. This is the last page of stratagems, and the shooting phase is only phase 3 of the 6 in a battle round. Seems weird, but okay. Vengeance of the Machine Spirit, used when a unit is destroyed. Alright, so we have left the phases and are dealing with stratagems procced by specific events. Skilled Riders, used in the movement phase. Never mind, screw that, we're going back to the phases, back to a phase which occurs before the shooting phase. Tactical Flexibility, 
used at the start of a movement phase. Oh god, we're not done going back. Hero of the chapter, used during list construction. Now we have jumped back before the game begins. We're not even playing the game at this point. Why is this here? Adaptive strategy, used at the start of a battle round. Okay, so we're moving forward, back into the battle round, back to the phases. Transhuman physiology, targeted for an attack. Never mind, we're done, surely. We've left the phases, and we're back to stratagems procced by specific events. Gene Rot Might, used in the fight phase. Sure, of course, why would we not just jump back into the phases again? I shouldn't even be surprised at this point. This is nonsensical, and it's across all four pages of the stratagems. Just imagine for a moment if this is how units were organized. Surely you can see my point. This is information in a codex, and it should be methodically organized. And lastly, the same point about stratagems is true for psychic powers. Parse out that data. It would be preferable if a player doesn't need to scan through a paragraph's worth of data. Not because reading is bad, but because there is quite a lot of referencing of rules that take place over a game of 40k, especially so for newer players, whose opinion and experiences are being formed. With that in mind, if you make it as quick as possible to find the component elements that comprise mechanics, you can decrease the time spent not playing, and the overall experience is that much more improved. Well, that's a wrap on this one. Thanks for watching. These are my thoughts around the new data sheets of 9th edition, and what I would like to see in the future. What do you guys think? Would changes like this improve your gaming experience? I suppose I should make it clear that the formats for psychic powers and stratagems I presented were something I threw together for this video. I haven't verified them against all the strats and psychic powers that exist across 40k. The point I was making with them is that things could be better presented for the purpose of quick referencing. Anywho, if you enjoyed this video, there's a like button. And if you want to help this channel grow, there's a subscribe button. There's also a bell button and a share button, so press the buttons you want to press. Thanks again for watching, and I'll hope to see you guys in the next one.